All right, good morning, everybody. And today's topic on coffee and questions, is we're gonna talk about that Harbor Freight US General 72 inch toolbox. We're also gonna take a look, uh, some people on the forum were sitting around discussing other 72 inch toolboxes that don't cost you an arm and a leg and how good they are and people that have actually owned them that have talked about them now and told you the ups and the downs and the do's and the don'ts. So if you're interested in anything like that, this may be a little bit longer video than normal because I'm gonna go through everybody's comments to give you a well-rounded understanding before you jump out and you buy one of these. So if you're interested, grab your coffee and let's get right after it. This right here is a picture of the US General, the 72 inch that we're talking about, Series 2. It's available at Harbor Freight. Right now, this is an ad I pulled off of online. It's $1,099.99. They always put this thing on here, which is a little bit annoying compared to the 6,600 and blah, blah, blah Snap-on. This isn't a comparison to Snap-on because there really isn't. Snap-on is a much higher quality, high-end toolbox. It's very costly. I don't think it's right to sit there and say, hey, look, compare it to that. We're not comparing it to that in terms of quality or the manufacturer of the box. We're taking a look at pure cost of the box because some people can't afford these boxes in the thousands and thousands or $10,000 range. So what is a really good box, I mean, to have around for the garage, the home hobbyist, or maybe you're a technician just first starting out and you can't afford that $10,000 or $7,000 box. So. I don't like the idea they put, like I said, they put it up here and say, hey, compare it to Snap-on, but I'll get over it. Let's go ahead and tear the picture down and let's jump right into things. Here we go. Okay, so the questions and answers and the comments are all over the place. So I'm just going to start with whatever the first topic was that somebody brought up about the toolboxes. We'll jump around. I do have some other pictures to show you and we'll get to those too. But the first concern that somebody had is, hey, I bought one of these and it comes with a real thin, like matte top uh, on the very top of it, black. You know, what can I do? Well, if you think about three quarters of an inch, I mean, I think that that is the measurement up there. You can go down and get yourself some plywood or anything. You could get a piece of sheet steel from out of the steel supply place. It'll be, you know, a little costly. You can cut it down and slide a piece of thick, um, you know, steel in there. But what I would do and what a lot of people on the forum did is get three quarter inch plywood or something like that. Get yourself some polyurethane and you know, I'd sand it very lightly unless it's shop grade plywood and I'd put a couple coats of polyurethane on it and I would put it on there for the top. It's easily removable, it's easily replaceable and it makes a really nice top and it looks good. That's my advice on what to do on the top of any box that you buy, but that was specifically was on this 72 inch box. Another comment was made was something similar to where it says compared, like above me and compared to the Snap-on. It said, oh, do you, can you compare this to all the name brand boxes that are out there like, you know, Mac, Comac, you know, on and on. No, you can't, okay? It's not a comparison to them. Those boxes are totally constructed differently and they're much more higher quality. There is nothing wrong with this U.S. General Series 2 box, though. It's made well. It's constructed well. It's just not at the same higher grade as those other boxes. And those other boxes are going to be very costly, too. Is it close to the quality of the ones that are being sold at Menards, Home Depot, Sears, Lowe's? Yeah, it is. Okay, this is a really good box. I think it's a really good deal at the price point that it's at right now. Um, you know, it's everybody's opinion, but on the forum, everybody that has bought in these really likes these boxes right here. They're constructed very well. The casters are incredible. And we'll get to that here in a minute, but, uh, yeah, you can't compare them to the high end boxes, but this is a damn good box for your garage or even an entry level box. Okay. One guy, when he got him said, the what about the drawer glides? And then he went and he got some silicone spray. Um, another guy used lithium and the first thing that they did, there was nothing wrong with the box when it was uncrated, but they pulled all the drawers out and they shot the rails with either silicone or white lithium. And they said they just glide absolutely beautifully after that. So that's a good idea. And it's something to keep in mind if you're going to buy one of these boxes. Okay. Let's move on to the next topic or question. Okay. It's not a negative comment, but somebody on here commented, um, you know, there's no way you should buy the snap on box. You can get it right off of the tool truck. You know, everybody knows they're not available at the big box or any place like that. 
and you should really, you know, save your money, buy the high-end, you know, uh, box like Snap-on, Matco, this, that, the other. Okay, well, this is my this is my opinion on this for a second, and I agree with somebody that wrote this on the forum. These U.S. general boxes versus the Snap-on, like I said, we're not comparing them. We're looking at price, and we're looking at the construction of them. This is a well-constructed box, you know, for the price. So you easily save five thousand dollars or more by going this route especially when you're not making like a lot of money or you're not one of these high salaried you know mechanics or technicians so you save an enormous amount of money by not buying one of those snap-on boxes so let's say that you didn't and let's say you know that there's that five thousand dollar savings there like i said and let's say you add ten dollars more a month to it you know you just contribute another ten dollars more a month now you can use an online um, calculator. It's a compound interest calculator. And in 30 years, you will have saved up how much? $106,986.29. So enormous savings. I mean, if you look at it that way, or you can look cool and you can go buy one and you can get hooked into those payments that you have to pay every week or monthly or whatever. And you can be in debt to the tool truck driver for the rest of your life. You're overpaying. I mean, that's my point. And the math is right here and it's simple. I mean, if I'm a mechanic and I'm in the trades and I'm using this box all the time, I did another video on this, go back and search. That's a different story. Then yes, I would probably want one of those Matco, Mac or Snap-on boxes. That's a whole different, you know, like animal at that point because I'm making, you know, my livelihood and my living out of it. It's still a very expensive box, but if you're open and closing these all the time and these are, you know, they're just much more better quality outstanding boxes. But if you are not a mechanic and you're not in the trades like that, I think these boxes will serve you better. The cost savings is enormous and you might as well use the cost savings to buy more tools. That's my point. It's an opinion and I'm sure that a lot of people are going to differ, but um, somebody made the comment here that Harbor Freight always tries to beef up their advertising by comparing them to the higher end quality products. Like you see the comment up here again, compare to Snap-on. Well, somebody made the comment they lost a class action suit after they were sued for shady practices and deceitful advertising. But I don't know about that. I'm, you know, maybe you know more you want to leave in the comment below. I don't know enough about that to comment. I just made the comment at the beginning. I don't think you can really compare this to snap on. They should have put something else up there other than that because you really can't. All right, let's move forward. Uh, no, what I, meant by, what I meant by my comment was is this is probably the best deal out there in terms of toolbox construction that you're going to come across for an entry-level person that's going to be like an auto tech or for home use or the home shade tree mechanic type thing. This is a fantastic value for those reasons and that's what you know I would target telling people it's a good box for that anyway um, another person made a comment that this is a great box he loves it and he's considering putting you know another piece of uh, steel in the bottom middle here and putting you know another set of casters in there so it's got three rows um, yeah okay I don't think you need that you're not going to park a car on top of this thing these are very heavy duty well-made casters we'll get into that in a little bit I don't feel that you need three rows but if you feel that you're going to be putting that kind of weight in there, I suppose you could do that easy enough if, uh, you know, if it bothers you. But um, I think the two on here are fine. But if you want to go with three, yes, it could be easily done. I agree. Um, there's a comment on the drawer slides that the little latches, and we'll throw up a picture in a little bit and I'll show you, are made out of plastic that they could envision them wearing out over time and that you would probably have trouble finding you know replacements for it well you can also make them you know your own out of metal it's not that hard if you take a look at the latches you could actually use one of these that are in there as a template you know and just keep that template in your box and if that should ever happen to you you have the template you can bring it out you can make them out of you know a piece of you know metal fast enough and put them on there because you have that little template so um, i'm not saying you should have to do that i'm just saying that is a way around things if you're having trouble you know locating you know the replacement parts or you don't like them out of plastic yeah the comment was is that like with snap on matco and mac um where they get this comparison it says compare six thousand six hundred fifty five dollars snap on and they give you a part number I don't know if there's much of a comparison. I think when you get into these larger boxes, the cost is much more than $6,655. But again, 
you step into this trap. I mean, unless you're making really good money or you've saved up a lot of money and you want that box that bad because you're in the trades, you're stepping into a trap of this payment schedule with them. Very high interest rate. You are going to pay through the nose for this box before you're done. Yeah, it com- yes, it comes with handles. The question is, it has handles. Well, yeah, just like in the picture. It has one for the right side, it has one for the left side, and they are made out of metal. Yeah, I'll show you a better picture here in a little bit of the casters, and we'll talk about them. These are super heavy-duty casters. They are outstanding, I think, in terms of quality. And yes, they have locks on them. Take a look over here on the far left. You'll see it's got the uh, step-down pads for locking it. But yes, it has locks. Okay, I changed the pictures, and so I want to recap for a minute. The picture straight up on the left above my head is showing you the latching mechanism um, on these on the drawers so you can see right there the little plastic piece and like I said it'd be very easy I mean just to use as a template but this is a blow up so that you can see a little bit closer of what we're talking about on that box the picture in the middle is showing you the rails these are ball bearing rail system just shoot them with either the lithium or with the silicone like I said these drawers will glide beyond belief take a look on the upper far right this is a close-up um, I didn't blow it up any bigger it gets too blurry these are those super heavy duty casters. They're spring loaded, they're nice, and they have, like I said, the locking brake on them. Take a look at the one on the far bottom right. You'll see where the little locking brake is. It's sitting on a piece of wood, but these casters are very heavy duty. They're nice and wide. They glide across the floor real easily. Okay, let's go on to the more questions and see if we can answer some of the other things that people are asking. Now, some people are saying they're able to use a 20% coupon on these boxes. Now, um, all the coupons that I've read said that it does not apply to toolboxes. So I don't know. I don't know how you're doing that. If you could drop a comment below for everybody, that would be great. They could get an additional discount on this price. But everything that I've read says that you can't do that. I'm not, um, you know, I'm not disputing it with you, but I'm just asking you for clarification you can put it in the comment below on how you managed to get the 20%. I would appreciate it. Um, does it come with keys? Yes, yeah, so you can see the locks on the front. It comes with a set, it will cut two sets of keys, four keys in total is what I'm trying to say. But yes, it comes with keys. Um, yeah, I read on there too, it comes crated. And I'll show you a picture of that in a second. And you have to uncrate it. But it's all assembled other than the handles on the right and the left. And you may have to pay an additional shipping charge of $100 because it comes in a truck, I think, from what I read, that has to have a lift gate on it. And so they charge you for that shipping, but it's $100 or right close to it, you know, additional on the price for the shipping. And a lot of stores don't carry this. You have to call around. Some carry these great big boxes, some don't. But, you know, call around and see who has them. If not, you can order them off of the internet and have them shipped to you. But yes, you'll pay that shipping charge, I believe. Okay, the other question is, what is the weight of this? Well, the website says, one of the websites says it's 881 pounds. Um, on the forum, somebody's telling me, no, the actual weight is 656 pounds. Um, well, like I said, you go with the website probably, but uh, I don't know. Um, I know that there's a difference in the two things that people are saying so maybe somebody can drop a comment to clarify but uh, what I read was 656 pounds and it's crated and this is an actual picture I took off of the web of how it's shipped and how it's crated when it comes to you and this is what it looks like just to give you an idea so you got to take and bust it all apart to get to the box but like I said it's totally assembled they tell me it's fantastic there's no you know, having to put anything together other than those handles. So that's a good thing. Average shipping time, everybody's saying, is around three to four days. It ships fairly fast. So uh, within a week, I guess, to answer the question, that's not bad. But, uh, you know, if you have to order it over the web or order it through them, that's what it takes. Does it come with drawer liners? Yeah, but they're real, like, super thin kind of liners. But yes, it does come with them. You can go out to Harbor Freight and you can actually buy the rolls of liner it's like seven bucks a roll or something like that uh, a couple rolls of them and get like you know a much thicker material if that's what you want but yes it does come with it yeah from what i read all of the top drawers have double slides so that's another nice benefit of you know the box it is well constructed um labels in the very middle drawer on the top of this box if you pull it out and look under the mat it comes with labels so yes they're there and they just you fill them out and slide them in through the little rails in the front 
what are the dimensions well like it says on the website it's 72 inches wide it's 22 inches deep the top it's got like well that's like that thin liner drawer material it's like about a 16 inch thick piece of stuff that's like you know just a liner for the top but like i said i would replace it with three quarter inch plywood or you know, i don't know osb or something like that and just put a couple coats of polyurethane on it like i was saying um, regarding the casters, the wheels, the ones on the left do not rotate. The ones on the right rotate. So let me give you a little bit of history here, I mean, that I dug up. Are these boxes made in China? The answer is yes. And I put up a picture of the one that Sears offers, and I put up a picture of the one that's from Northern Tool. It's a Homac. There's a place called Torin Chase, and it's in Ontario, California. They're the largest tool box distributor in the world. All of their boxes, over 95% or something like that from what I read, are made in China. Now that company, Torin, then sells these boxes to Sears. They sell them to Northern Tool. Now if you take a close look at these boxes, they're almost identical and exact to the U.S. General because they're made in the same manufacturing plant in China. Then, like I said, they're sold to Torin. Torin turns around and sells and these people rebrand but take a close look at these boxes you'll see there are some minor differences but overall these boxes are constructed the same because they came from the same manufacturing plant now what I gave you up here is enough information you can do your own research you'll see they're constructed almost identically the same way they just like I said they rebrand them and put a different name tag on them and one of the comments is how do I know that you know, for a fact, or how could it be actually researched to its origin? I'll make it easy for you. Hang on just a sec. Okay, after me looking into it deeper and deeper and deeper, here is the manufacturing company in China. They gave you their fax number, their phone number, and their customer service. You could give them a call. They will actually tell you what I've been telling you is how they make them, how they ship them, and where they end up. I went ahead and I left the comment that one, uh, one of the people in the forum wrote. If you take a look at the one made by Sears right above my head, the Wolf Toolbox, you can read his comment there, and he even gave you a link that you can go back and do your own research on this box uh, that they're branding Wolf, and you can see the price is $4,000. If you take a look other than a few of the trim pieces and stuff, this box is identical to the one being sold at Harbor Freight, the U.S. General. Take a look on the bottom over here to my left, for $500 more, this box is almost identical in construction, if you read about it, to that U.S. General. It has a couple of other little things. Like I said, if you look closely, it has that third wheel there in the middle, and you can take a look, and the trim might be just a little bit different, but you're also paying another $500, and you are going to pay additional shipping and so forth to even get the HOMAC box. Okay, some tips on how you can keep the cost down. Let's say that you've decided, hey, I'm going to buy one of these U.S. General boxes. I've done my research. All this this looks good I'm gonna do it I don't want to pay the shipping I'm looking for a discount and all this other stuff so because both stores don't carry them they kind of trap you into this internet sales thing and paying the additional fee now there's a couple ways around that call around there is a Harbor Freight in Woodland Hills California um, I called I think a couple weeks ago and they had one in their store and you don't have to pay the shipping now you might have to make a drive to go get it and save that hundred dollars i don't know if it's worth it to you or it's not there is another way around it if you talk to the store manager and you say hey i want to buy one of these boxes but can i buy it through the store here and have it shipped here and pick it up here at the store a lot of them will work with you on doing this and therefore you avoid that shipping charge also so there's a way that you can save that hundred dollars maybe if you work it out you know with that particular store or if you call around so those are two options on saving 100 bucks maybe you might want to think about question how do i ask the store manager okay well here's what one reader did which i thought was a really good idea he approached the store manager and he said can i have a customer request order and what that means is that you're going to order it and pay for it then at the store and then it'll ship to the store and then you don't have to worry about the lift truck and all this other stuff what they do is then from their warehouse on the next shipment whenever that is it could be in one day two days it could be in one or two weeks i don't know they'll put the toolbox on there and it'll ship to the store so they put it on with the next delivery so again it's called a customer request order that's a good tip and it'll save you some money and thank you for the comment
Um, one last thing, they feel that the powder coating that came on this general 72 inch toolbox is not the best quality. It's kind of a cheap powder coating. Uh, yeah, okay. I, you know, I don't know that for a fact. Um, if you take a look at the rest of the U.S. general boxes out at Harbor Freight, you'll get an idea of the powder coating. I think it is what it is. It's probably an all right powder coating. You're getting a really good value on this toolbox. I can kind of forgo that. I mean, if that's the only issue on these super high end boxes that you're paying thousands and thousands for, of course, the powder coating is going to be better and the clear coat. But it, to me, it wouldn't be that big of a deal as long as the box looks satisfactory. Um, you know, just watch what you're spilling on it, I guess. I don't know what else to say about that. Okay, I'm the Home Handyman. This was a review on boxes that are available out there. What I feel is the U.S. General, the 72-inch, is a good value at this price point. People said before it was much higher. Um, I don't know. Um, I didn't start tracking it and researching it until recently. It's a good price. I showed you how to save a little bit of money, hopefully, by talking to the store manager or just calling around and seeing if any of the stores have them. Um, I hope you folks enjoyed the video, and this was all pulled off of a discussion on the forum of people that actually own the boxes, telling you to stay away from these other higher-end ones and save yourself some money and take a look. You know, like I said, Sears is boasting this wolf box, and so Homac, I own a Homac toolbox. It's not this one. I don't have one this large, but Homac also makes a good toolbox. But like I said, it's rebranded. They all come out of the same factory in China. Take a look around save yourself some money if you take a look at the cost difference you're at least saving five hundred dollars you can go spend in tools to load your new toolbox with i'm the home handyman you folks have a good day give me a thumbs up and click subscribe and keep following me i hope a good day folks bye bye